Hi, welcome back. I have a word that I had uh, last year, 2023, and um, I got it over and over and over again, and, and I was asked when to share it, and just never really felt uh, like the time. I did share it in my community pages, um, but the word is that Joel 2 and Acts 2 are going to run together. So there will be calamity and rescue at the same time. And I got um, this simultaneous uh, book and chapter again just a few short weeks ago and then I also had it confirmed um, by Tracy Harris that said calamity and rescue run together and that was earlier this year so it is definitely time um, to make sure that you're aware that you need to read Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2 and whenever there is fear um, it should be only the fear of the Lord so that you need to make sure you're on the right side of either calamity or rescue so you just go into Psalm 91 and make sure that you're under his wings and that his heart is your heart and your heart is his heart um, fear of the Lord which is turning away from all evil and search the scriptures for what evil is and everything that is in your life that you, um, you know, you don't think that God would like, that's probably a good indication that you need to turn away from that and repent for it. So repent, repent, repent. Even during the harshest times, there's always the grace to repent. So that is the key, making sure your heart is with him. So let me read Joel 2 and Acts 2, parts of it. Um, I'll just select the few chapters that I was pointed out to and then I suggest that you go to the Lord in prayer and read it for yourself and let the Holy Spirit convict you of where you need to make adjustments in your life. You're fully ready and fully consecrated to the Lord, set apart, and that you can stand strong during these times. I'm gonna read a few verses here that will show you uh, the things to come, but everything from uh, the great shaking to uh, days of darkness to um, the locusts coming out and the armies uh, walking and, and marching as if they were soldiers. And when it says as if, um, there is a little question there that they are not traditional soldiers. And so if you pray about that and you think about um, the possibility that they're, they're enhanced soldiers or you think about some other things that the, the verses clearly are alluding to and, and pray about the direction from the Lord, um, you can see that we are in those times when there are um, non-traditional uh, type of soldiers and things that might be coming so but on the other hand acts to when the Holy Spirit fills the children of God and the sons and daughters of God dream dreams and have visions and are filled with the Holy Spirit and so those are the things that are really exciting and um, you can choose which one to focus on now certainly it's good to be prepared and focus on the things that are being prophesied and are being fulfilled every day that that we're going to be facing and we are facing but focus on the light focus on what is in it for uh, the children of God and also to focus on the path that you are meant to be in in this time because you are made for such a time as this so um, I'm gonna again read a couple of verses and then again I encourage you to go read both of these chapters Joel 2 and Acts 2 for yourself so without further ado let's dive in a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the dawn is spread over the mountains, so there is a great and mighty people. There has never been anything like it, nor will there be again after it, to the years of many generations. A fire consumes before them and behind them. Flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden before them, but a desolate wilderness behind them. Like a mighty people arraigned for battle, before them the people are in anguish and all faces turn pale. They run like a mighty man climbing on the wall like soldiers, and each and they each march in line, nor do they deviate from their path. They do not crowd each other, they march everyone in his path. When they burst through the defenses, they do not break ranks. They rush the city, they run on the wall, they climb into houses. They enter through the windows like a thief, and before them the earth quakes and the heaven trembles. The sun and the moon grow dark, and the stars lose their brightness. 
and the Lord utters his voice before his army. Yet even now declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart, not your garments. Now return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him. And now Acts 2. It mirrors Joel, and here is where it says, Peter stands up and says, And it shall be in the last days, says God, that I will pour forth my spirit upon all kind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my bond slaves, both men and women, I will in those days pour forth my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will grant wonders in the sky above and the signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke, and the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and the glorious day of the Lord shall come, and it shall be that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then he says to them, Repent, and let each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God shall call to him. So thank you for watching today and for listening to those two very important chapters that are timely and we're going through them right now. I invite your comments and I ask you to go back and pray for this, um, pray about this for yourself and take everything to the Lord and that the Holy Spirit will um, give you the confirmation of truth that you need for yourself. I seal this video in the blood of Jesus and I thank you for watching.